This was the year Mohammed bin Hammam planned to become president of FIFA and become the most powerful man in world football. Instead, he finds himself banned from all football activities for life. Article 11, paragraph 2, bribery of the FIFA Code of Ethics. Two, the official Mr. Bin Hammam is hereby banned from taking part in any kind of football-related activity at national and national level, administrative, sports and any other for life. The case against Bin Hammam is connected to his campaign to replace Sepp Blatter as FIFA president, a contest that in the end never took place. The charges revolve around a meeting in May when Caribbean officials were offered $40,000 Money the investigation concluded was designed to secure votes for Mr. Hamam. For this, two Caribbean officials were banned for a year. Jack Warner resigned as vice president, but his involvement played a key part of the evidence in this two day ethics committee hearing. While Warner's career looks over, Bin Hamam will fight on. He didn't attend the hearing in Zurich, choosing to be represented by a team of lawyers. The FIFA Ethics Committee has apparently based its decision on so-called circumstantial evidence, which our case has clearly demonstrated was bogus and was founded on lies told by senior FIFA officials. Mohammed bin Hammam's legal team know the internal fight against FIFA is now virtually over, but they will now attempt to clear his name through legal processes away from the Ethics Committee and away from football's world governing body. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera, Zurich.